Uh, well, it happened. I can't believe it, but it actually happened. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT. How long did you wait? <laughs> of course, you're the Game Challenge's Tech News, one geek that is me, to another that is you. I know, another episode, back to back. It's like the ice cream truck coming two days in a row. First up for the day, story numero uno, we got two brand new Macs at WWDC. Well, really one and a half. That M2 MacBook Pro does not count. We will not count that here. But that new MacBook Air is pretty, pretty, even though it might not have been the MacBook Air that we were all expecting. But don't give up hope just yet. You know those new Macs? Yup, there's uh, there's more where those came from. A new report from Marcus Gramontis is out today that covers three new MacBooks that are in fact on the way. Are you ready for this? First, a 15-inch new MacBook Air for 2023. So, you know, probably the same MacBook Air that we just got, but uh, bigger, less air. And of course, a new MacBook Pro is also in the works, coming in 14 and 16 inches, uh, the huge. That part is not a surprise. No redesign, nothing crazy like that. But obviously, we can expect a pretty great spec bump with the new M2 Pro and M2 Max chips. And listen, just that alone, all that sounds great, right? But, and this one I'm excited for, the MacBook. That's right. Apple is seemingly bringing back just MacBook. Remember when this thing was released in 2015? Not MacBook Pro, not MacBook Air, just MacBook. It was thin, it was light, and like, <laughs> actually, not gonna lie, really pretty. Even for today, like this totally holds up. Yes, that MacBook is coming back. And listen, man, I don't want to be that guy, but is that what this is, is that what this was the whole time? As we said, when we put out those renders, and as we say usually every time, uh, when sources give us images of products to then go ahead and show you in some way, shape, or form, they don't know the final marketing names for these products. A lot of times we're just guessing. And we assumed, based on how it looked, okay, MacBook Air. But what if we assumed wrong? Anyway, according to the report, the new MacBook refresh is uh it's 12 inches like the original one and apple is considering launching it at the end of next year 2023 or sometime in early 2024 so don't worry you got time if you need to save money to buy that thing you have till the end of next year or the year after that but it, hey if you have the money now and you were like man i really was hoping that macbook would come out what am i gonna do with my money now Hey there, Mr. Big Dollars. Were you going to spend that money on a MacBook? I'll show you where to put it. This episode is sponsored by Masterworks.io. Masterworks gives everyone, not just high rollers, the chance to invest in famous Picasso, Monet, and Banksy paintings. Why art? Well, art has outpaced the S&P 500 from 1995 to 2021 and has almost no correlation with stocks. But is it legit? <laughs> yes, Masterworks is the first company to offer paintings backed up with the same securities and exchange commission as public offerings. Is anyone doing it? Yes, again, over 300,000 investors have already signed up. And there's a wait list but it's fine. You can skip it with our special link. Just go to masterworks.art slash FPT to get started today. And of course, a huge thanks to Masterworks for supporting this episode of Puppeter. Okay, welcome back. Uh, so last up for the day, story numero lasto. <sighs> I, it feels like closure, gonna be honest. We have been following this story for years, almost since the beginning of this show. And finally, it is done. Case closed. After years and years of the EU voting on and trying to pass into law a mandate that would force every phone manufacturer to use a USB-C port for charging, it has officially happened. USB-C will be mandatory for every phone sold in the EU. And yes, that means the iPhone too. Now I know it's easy to just see the surface of it like, okay, iPhone has to have USB-C. Uh, but it goes deeper than that. It also states that devices like tablets, digital cameras, headphones, handheld game consoles, they all have to have USB-C. Basically, if you can put a USB-C port in there, it better have it. If it fits, 
It sits. Today, we have made the common charger a reality in Europe. European customers were frustrated long with multiple chargers piling up with every new device. Now, they will be able to use a single charger for their portable electronics. That's it, the deed is done, and it does look like Apple plans on complying. Not that... <laughs> Not that they really have a choice. Now, technically, the rule starts being implemented in the fall of 2024, giving manufacturers time to plan accordingly, and it seems Apple had a heads up on that because the rumors are that iPhone 15 will in fact have USB-C. iPhone 15 is next year. If you, were, if you lost track of the numbers, this year 14, next year 15, we good? Good. And just as the mandate requires, they're not just converting the iPhone over to USB-C, they're also converting every chargeable Apple device over to USB-C, uh, including AirPods. From what I understand, the update to AirPods Pro the, that's coming out this year, those were already done like before the mandate came down, Apple didn't have enough time, so uh, not this year's AirPods, but the next time we get a version of AirPods, those will likely have USB-C. And the EU thought of everything here, even making it such that Apple could not simply ship iPhones with a USB-C adapter in the box. If you watch this show a lot, you know I've thrown that idea around like every time this subject comes up uh, and the EU, yeah, they thought of it, can't, can't do that. Whatever it is that you plan on shipping, if it plugs in, if it charges with some sort of cable, guess what? It better have a USB-C bajo on the bottom. Uh, there is uh, <laughs> one, Uno, don't tell anybody about this, but there is one workaround though. Technically, the legislation only applies to devices that are rechargeable via a wired cable. So the option for a portless iPhone is still totally viable for Apple. It might give them the loophole that they want. But for now, at least for next year, and presumably the year after that too, iPhones will have USB-C. It is happening. That is at least until Apple can rely completely on wireless charging, uh, which, you know, it might... It might be a minute, might be a while. Apple doesn't exactly work uh, swiftly. Uh, we just got a, uh, a weather app on the iPad, <laughs> if that tells you anything.